Yeah, I'm gonna write you a program that you're gonna get fucking jacked off of, bro. Just because I know your body, I know how it reacts. Yeah. Um, so you said you're not doing football this year? How are you? Great, how are you? Good. Good? Good. Are you doing a thing? Yeah. Are, huh? you, are you doing a thing? Yes. Yeah, okay, wait. Say hi. Hi. Say I'm going to admire her. I'm Corinne, and he's awesome, so whatever he says to do, do it. Okay. Thanks, Corinne. Have a nice day. Appreciate it, Corinne. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, Corinne. Um, so, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, Welcome to another episode of The Coach Malik Show. Today we are talking about what you should be doing in between sets. A lot of people have been asking, you know, what should I do in between um, my sets? What should, should I be resting? Should I be doing active rest? Now, if you are doing something heavy, I do believe you should rest. But if you are not, you're trying to lose weight. These are great things that you can be doing during your rest time. This right here, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube or on the video, or if you are listening to this on the podcast, I am doing waiter carries, pretty much where you're carrying one dumbbell above your head and you are walking anywhere from 20, 30, 40 yards one way and then back, so alternating arms. And what this works on is your gait. So your walk, you know, these are things that a lot of people should be doing, <laughs> but aren't doing that much. So waiter carries are great. This next one, again, farmer carries, where you carry two dumbbells right by your side, kind of like you're carrying two suitcases kind of. Uh, kind of just gave a little hint what the next one was, but um, these are great for grip strength, for keeping your heart rate high during your rest times. So farmer carries are great, highly recommended. And then the next one I do is a suitcase carry. So I am carrying one dumbbell on my side. Again, making sure my gait, making sure my walk is as normal as it could be. Obviously it's not gonna be super normal with you carrying you know, 50, 60, 70 pounds on the side as much possible um, normal walk as you can that's going to help improve you know your central nervous system your core and again your grip and if you're doing suitcase carry your core as well more things that you can do during your rest guys are body weight exercises so again if you're watching this if you're listening to this on the podcast i am doing single leg rdls right now you can do this i think a lot of you guys really need it it's going to work the back of your leg the hamstring and it's going to work your core and it's going to help you do deadlifts better because it's going to work on your hip movement. Single leg RDLs, again, if you're listening to this on the podcast, look it up or go to The Coach Malik Show on YouTube and watch me on this episode of me doing these single RDLs. Again, very crucial. I think a lot of people need them. It's going to activate your glutes and a lot of you guys, it's going to help with back pain. So again, the next exercise, body weight exercise in between rest I do is body weight squats. You can do very little reps and just work on range of motion, stretching it out, or you could do multiple reps. 20, 30 in between sets. The next leg exercise, body weight exercise I do is hip bridges. You can do these with both feet, you can do these with single feet, but these are another great one that I think a lot of people need to do. Again, it's gonna work your core, it's gonna activate your glutes, it's gonna work on your hamstrings. We are sitting so much in our society these days, in our habits, to where working our hamstrings, we can't work our hamstrings anymore. Uh, working our hamstrings is gonna help a lot of you guys with your back pain, with your leg pain, glute, um, IT band. Um, so single leg, hip bridges, highly recommended. Then I go on to stationary lunges, great for resting. If you are resting, especially during leg day, and you need something to do to keep the heart rate up, stationary lunges, reverse lunges, which is what I do next, is a great exercise to do during your rest. Um, again, it keeps the heart rate high, it's gonna keep the blood flowing through the legs. Even if you're doing upper body, this is gonna be a good way to incorporate legs in your upper body days. So now we go on to plank variations, all right? There are so many plank variations, obviously I'm not gonna get all of them, but there's planks on your elbows, planks on your hands, planks from elbows to hands. You know, I think the next one I do is plank with an arm raise and then plank with a toe tap side planks you know there are so many different types of planks you can be doing during your rest this is phenomenal and i highly recommend it it is great work on your core so it kind of like 
spices up core workouts. You don't have to do it at the end, do your three sets, you know, three rounds. You just do them during your rest. You know, there's plank ups. You know, there's so many things you can do with planks. Highly recommend doing those in between your sets. I hope you got something from this. If you did, leave a comment, like, and again, I just want to say thank you one more time to every single one of you guys listening. I can't appreciate you guys anymore.